Hello and welcome back to the Martial Arts Dome, your number one martial arts movie channel. In today's video we are talking about a martial arts movie which is known as the Bullet Time Movie. But before we start, please be so kind and like this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us to grow so we can reach more people with our content. The Matrix, directed by the Wachowskis, is a landmark science fiction film from 1999. It stars Keanu Reeves as Neo, a hacker who discovers that the reality he knows is a simulated world created by machines to enslave humanity. Guided by Morpheus, Lawrence Fishburne, and Trinity, Carrie Ann Moss, Neo learns he might be the one destined to liberate humanity. Known for its revolutionary visual effects and deep philosophical themes, The Matrix has become a cultural and cinematic milestone. Thomas Anderson leads a double life. By day, he is a humble software developer in an unnamed metropolis. His work is monotonous, his colleagues are uninteresting, and his boss, Mr. Reinhardt, is relentless. But by night, Anderson takes on the name Neo and delves into the dark depths of the hacker world. He searches for a mysterious figure named Morpheus, from whom he has heard that he holds the answers to the burning questions that keep him awake at night. Neo is haunted by a feeling that something is fundamentally wrong with the world. He has dreams and visions that seem foreign to him, and he often feels watched. One night, while sitting in his dingy apartment staring at his computer screen, a message suddenly appears. Follow the White Rabbit. Before he can comprehend what it means, there is a knock at his door. A group of people, including a woman with a White Rabbit tattoo, invites him to a club. Although he hesitates, Neo decides to follow them. At the club, he meets Trinity, a legendary hacker who tells him he is in great danger. Trinity explains that Morpheus is looking for him, and that he has the answers Neo so desperately seeks. Before Neo can learn more, the club is raided by police and agents, and he has to flee. He doesn't know whom to trust, and is unsure of what comes next. After meeting Trinity and the others at the club, Neo begins a serious search for Morpheus. He hacks through networks and follows clues that eventually lead him to a meeting with Morpheus. Morpheus, a charismatic and mysterious leader, offers Neo a choice. The red pill or the blue pill. The blue pill would return Neo to his normal, familiar world, while the red pill would reveal the truth about the Matrix. Neo bravely chooses the red pill. Immediately, he feels dizzy, and the world around him begins to change. He wakes up in a bizarre reality, trapped in a pod, surrounded by countless other pods containing unconscious people. Machines monitor these pods and use human bodies as an energy source. Neo is pulled out by a mechanical arm and finds himself on the Nebuchadnezzar, an old hovercraft operated by Morpheus and his crew. Morpheus explains the horrifying truth. The world Neo knew is a simulation, a virtual reality created by intelligent machines to enslave humanity. These machines have taken control of the world after winning a war against humans. The Matrix is a perfectly constructed illusion that keeps humans in a dreamlike state, while their bodies are used as batteries to power the machines. After learning the shocking truth, Neo begins intense training under the guidance of Morpheus and his crew. He must learn how to fight within the Matrix and break its rules. Morpheus is convinced that Neo is the One, the prophesied savior who will free humanity. This prophecy comes from the Oracle, a wise and mysterious woman living deep within the Matrix who can see the future. Neo undergoes rigorous combat exercises and mental training programs. He learns how to manipulate the physical laws of the Matrix, becoming faster, stronger, and smarter than any ordinary human. During a simulation, he fights Morpheus and begins to understand that the only limit is his imagination. Yet he has doubts about himself and his role as the One. Trinity and the other crew members support Neo, sharing their own experiences and hopes. Especially important is the relationship between Neo and Trinity, which gradually deepens. Trinity firmly believes in Neo's abilities and destiny, despite Neo's uncertainty. Meanwhile, Agent Smith, a particularly dangerous and intelligent agent of the machines, hunts Neo and attempts to eliminate him. As Neo and the crew of the Nebuchadnezzar continue to fight against the machines and try to free other humans, a terrible betrayal occurs. Cypher, a discontented crew member, has had enough of the constant struggle and harsh reality of the Resistance. 
He longs for the comfortable but illusory life within the Matrix. Cypher contacts Agent Smith and strikes a deal. He will betray Morpheus and the crew if the agents promise him a comfortable life within the Matrix, with all the amenities he desires. During a mission in the Matrix, Cypher sabotages the operation and reveals the crew's location. He disables the life support system of the Nebuchadnezzar, killing several crew members. While Neo, Trinity, and Morpheus fight in the Matrix, Morpheus is captured by the agents and severely tortured for information about Zion, the last human city. Cypher returns to the real world and begins killing the remaining crew members. But before he can reach Neo, he is shot by Tank, another crew member. Tank saves Neo and Trinity and restores the systems of the Nebuchadnezzar. With Morpheus in the hands of the agents, Neo faces a critical choice. He could flee and save his own life or try to rescue Morpheus, a nearly suicidal mission. Despite his uncertainty, Neo decides to save Morpheus, convinced that this is the only way to fulfill the prophecy. Neo and Trinity infiltrate a heavily guarded building where Morpheus is held. In a spectacular and action-packed battle against the agents and the building's security forces, Neo and Trinity showcase their impressive skills. They overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles and fight against an overwhelming number of enemies. Finally, they succeed in freeing Morpheus. During their escape, Neo confronts Agent Smith in a final battle. Despite his newly acquired abilities, Neo is severely wounded and seemingly killed. But at the crucial moment, something incredible happens. Neo rises again, as if reborn. He begins to see the Matrix in its true form, as mere code that he can manipulate. With his new perspective and awakened abilities, Neo can now fully control the rules of the Matrix. He dodges bullets, moves with superhuman speed and strength, and starts shaping reality according to his will. In an impressive fight, he defeats Agent Smith by destroying him from the inside, proving that he is indeed the one. The other agents flee, unable to defeat Neo. Neo returns to the real world, strengthened by his newfound conviction and abilities. Morpheus, Trinity, and the remaining crew celebrate their victory, but they know the war against the machines is far from over. Neo has accepted his destiny and is ready to free humanity. After fully accepting his powers and role as the One, Neo contacts the machines. He tells them that he will come to free humanity and destroy the Matrix. With newfound confidence and determination, he prepares to continue the fight against the machines. The film ends with an impressive image of Neo flying through the air, a skill that shows he now fully controls the Matrix. His mission is clear. He will free the people from their artificial captivity and show them the truth. A new era of resistance begins, and the hope for freedom and truth lives on in the hearts of humanity. The Matrix leaves the viewer with a sense of hope and the promise of revolutionary change as Neo sets out to free humanity and create a new reality. So that's the story of The Matrix. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Thanks for watching.